occupied by Israel. The Gaza Strip is a small area of land on the east coast of the Mediterranean, and it's one of the most crowded places in the world. More than 2 million people live in an area of 365 square kilometers, and that's more than 5,000 people per square kilometer. In urban areas, there is up to 20,000. 16 years of blockade by Israel has led to a crisis of overpopulation in the Gaza Strip. Now food shortages are expected to increase in the coming years. Like 60% of people in Gaza, Mohammed Salama has been living in a sheltered refugee camp since it was established by the UN's Palestinian Refugee Agency, UNRWA, more than 70 years ago. He says it was much empty at the time. Now he says it's crammed with multi-story buildings and narrow alleys. This area used to be green land, but as the number of people doubled, UNRWA bought it and built homes to give to refugees. The number of homes has continued to increase and people are also adding more stories to existing buildings. According to officials in Gaza, its population is increasing by about 60,000 or 3% a year. A large part of the area in Gaza cannot be built or expanded upon because it's next to the borders of Israeli occupation, so the effective area of the Gaza Strip is less than the actual area. Although agriculture is the main source of income for many people here, the overpopulation crisis is putting pressure on resources, especially food production and distribution. That's made worse by the blockade and Israeli forces attacking and bombarding farming land. Repeated Israeli attacks, the continuous bulldozing of lands and the Israeli siege, all of this has decreased the agricultural area and it will take many years to rehabilitate these lands. According to the World Food Programme, more than 70% of Gazans' food supplies are insecure. Despite efforts of aid organizations and local farmers, life is getting tougher for the increasing number of people facing hardship and hunger. Without urgent intervention, the situation is likely to worsen, with devastating consequences facing the people of Gaza in the coming years. Yunus Al Jazeera, Gaza.